Hey everybody, it's Mom to Wife 1 and this is day 5 of Vlogmas. I work from home today so I haven't really shot any footage yet and it is about 6.14pm. But we did put up the Christmas tree so you guys will get footage of me and my babies decorating. The rule in my house is that my husband will put the tree up and then me and my babies will decorate it. I try, well in my head I thought it'd be cute to, okay so this is my idea. Some of this sounds cute or not. I had the idea initially that every Thanksgiving, after we ate the food, I would have a little cap or a bowl or something, and in the bowl would be little pieces of paper that had different colors on it. And each of my babies, I only have two, would be able to pick out a piece of paper, and whatever color they pick, those would be the two colors of our tree. So in my head, oh, we can change the color scheme every year. The reason why I didn't do that, and I think this is a good idea, I really think that kind of keeps things fresh and it makes them excited to feel like they had a hand in like the theme of the tree. The reason why I didn't do that because I realized in our apartment, we have room, obviously, for me and my husband and my babies. There's no storage space here, really. There's not a lot of closet space. So I was like, if we get new ornaments every year of all these different colors, where the freak are we going to keep them? We have no room. So I was like, oh, that's not the best idea. So typically what I like to do, because I have a, I think our tree is seven or seven and a half feet. I always want a really tall tree and we have high ceilings in our apartment now, which is great. So the tree, I think, is like seven, seven and a half feet, and it's a black tree. It's a black artificial tree, but it's still a black tree. And our ornaments, we have, you know, typical, regular, like, round ornaments, but also have these white glittery snowflakes that I like to put. Okay, baby, you're good. These white glittery snowflakes I like to add on there as well. I don't know if I'm going to do that this year, but I think I'm leaning towards having white, silver, and rose gold as the theme of the tree without the snowflakes this year. So the tree's up, my babies are finishing dinner, and we are going to put the ornaments on. And after we put the ornaments on and the lights on and everything, we'll plug it in and look at it. My mother-in-law gave me this thing that is, it looks like a songbook. It's like, it looks like an open songbook, but it's an ornament you put on your tree. And it has a little mouse that looks like a conductor. And on the storybook, or the songbook rather, it has eight songs, like Christmas songs. And once you plug that in, and somehow you connect it to your lights that are on your tree, then the lights will flicker and play the music of whatever's on the songbook. It's hard to explain, but it's a cute thing because I love, I hate looking at lights that are just stagnant. I feel like those are the lights that you kind of drive through, like, oh, that's pretty, and then you kind of forget about it. I like the idea of the lights blinking in tune to Jingle Bells or Hark the Herald Angels Sing or whatever the Christmas song is. So I love it, and we plug it up every single year, and it's cute to hear the tree kind of singing to us and blinking, and it's nice. So I think that's what we're going to do tonight. That's probably all you'll get in the vlog tonight because I'm not cooking anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have to go into the office tomorrow. I have picked out my outfit and my makeup. So maybe I'll take you guys with me tomorrow morning when I put my makeup on. So we'll see. But either way, I'll come back and show you guys our progress with the tree. If you guys have ever had a fake tree... One of the hardest things, not hardest things, but I guess one of the most tedious things to do when you have an artificial tree as opposed to a real tree is you have to fluff out the branches so that it's not obvious that there are a lot of holes. Because if you've never had a fake tree before, the tree comes in parts. So it's like you're stacking them one on top of the other. So think of like Jenga, right? You're just stacking them one on top of the other. Normally they're labeled so you know what's the top, what's the bottom, all that stuff. But when you compress it and you put it away, you have to flatten all of the branches, in quotations, so that it'll fit back in the box. So when you take it out, now you have to fluff out the branches so it looks nice and full. Let me show you what I mean. So this is our tree. Like I said, it's black and it's about seven, seven and a half feet tall. But you see all the holes here? So I have to take, let me show you. So you take like a branch like this and basically I have to just fan out all of the different branches to kind of cover up some of the holes. I put the lights on. I haven't even plugged up the lights to see if they actually work, but I wanted to put the lights on first before our decorations on. So I'm going to continue to fluff out these branches and then have them in here to put the decorations on. And yeah, you guys will be with me for that. So stay tuned. Okay, we're going to see if the lights work. I have them wrapped around the tree. I had a surge protector, and I wanted to show you that mouse thing I was telling you guys about. This is it. It's a little ornament, and so it has a little mouse conductor. So this has a, it has like a box, which is right there. So I had to plug the lights into the box, and what should happen is once I hit the switch on the surge protector, 
then the lights should blink and play the music here. And I guess, I don't remember if it plays every song. I don't remember. Basically, you have the option of either having the music play or just having the lights blink to the beat of the music, even if you can't hear it. So, here's your test, guys. We got everything plugged up. Surge protector. Let's turn this on and see what happens. Okay, so the lights are definitely coming on. All right, and turn on the music, see if that works. Yay, it works. Okay, now time for the ornaments. It is sparkly. Yeah, you're still gonna put Mickey and Minnie on. That's gonna, we're gonna do that last, okay? This is how the tree looks so far. We have white and we have silver and we have rose gold. So that's the theme of this year's tree. But something we do every year, what my mom used to do when we were younger, because it was just the two of us, she would put our gifts on specific sides of the tree. So when we got up in the morning, it was time to open the gifts. We wouldn't scramble on the tree trying to find our stuff. My stuff would be on one side, my brothers would be on the other side. So the way my mother would do it was, she would pack, she would wrap most of the gifts, but some of the gifts she would leave out. And she would put my gifts that she didn't wrap, put them on one side and my brother's on the other side. So I'm doing the same thing with my babies, but I am designating the side by the ornament, silver and gold. But we have two special ornaments and my babies are five years apart. So it's important to me that they have these. So this is my son's initial J and my daughter has the initial A. So they decide what side of the tree they're going to have their gifts on and in addition to having and these ornaments came from a dear uh, neighbor yeah, who has since passed house. away who gave these to my babies but we also have the show them show them this baby let me see so i also have this ornament of minnie mouse and then one of you have mickey of mickey mouse so that also determines what side of the tree they have their gifts on so, okay put minnie on your side and when they wake up in the morning on Christmas Day, my ladybug's gifts will be on this side on the left and my son's will be on the right. And again, they're five years apart. So I made sure to find a Minnie Mouse ornament to match the son, my son's ornament that I got five years prior. But this is our tree. We don't typically have a topper. Sometimes I'll get like a ribbon to put up there. But anytime we've tried to get a topper, like a star or something, it just never stays put. So we'll figure out what to do with that. And this is a question for you guys. Do you guys typically get a tree skirt if it's a fake tree? I know when it's a real tree, you get a tree skirt to catch all of the pine needles when they fall. We don't have that issue because it's artificial. So we've never invested in a tree skirt. So let me know if you guys do that. But yep, this is our Christmas tree. Do you like the tree? Yes, we do. Now, what do you want to say to the people? We want to say happy... Happy, happy holidays, holidays to everyone who's Merry, watching Mommy's vlog. There we go. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy... What else? What do people celebrate during this year? Happy... happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. And Happy New Year. Very good. Say bye. Bye. And really quick, some of you may wonder why I'm just putting my Christmas tree up on December 5th. And some of you have had your Christmas tree up since right after Halloween, right before Thanksgiving. And I don't judge you guys. I really don't. You know, you're entitled to do whatever makes you happy, whatever brings you joy. The reason why I don't put mine up, let's say, for instance, after Halloween, right? We don't celebrate Halloween in my house, one. So that day doesn't really mean anything. Two... My birthday is in November, it's November 6th, and I'm not about to put nothing related to the month after my birthday until we celebrate my birthday, because it is very important, and I don't want my birthday to get overlooked. And then Thanksgiving is one of the more stressful holidays for me. It's typically a holiday where I'm not feeling happy, and I'm not feeling the holidays, and not feeling joyful. So putting up the Christmas tree isn't going to change that, so I just tend not to do that. So I leave it to the first week of December to put it up. I only keep it up until January 1st some people are like oh but it brings so much joy and it's beautiful and that's great and it is it is very pretty to look at but after a while it's like okay but it's not Christmas anymore like we need to kind of get back to the business of things January is the new year let's focus on you know doing our goals for the new year or whatever so I just don't get it but again I'm not judging you guys do you we wait until the first week of December in my house and that works just fine for us